welcome to Latricia Creates. I am Latricia. In today's video, we're going to create a beginner-friendly Christmas card using our Cricut machine. Let's take a look at the materials for this project. For this project, I'm going to use two pieces of white 65-pound cardstock, one piece of green foil cardstock. It's also 65 pounds. I am going to use some ribbon, scissors, a bone folder, a Cricut ink pen, a Cricut scoring wheel, my brayer tool, the green standard grip Cricut mat. We need adhesive. I'm going to use this ATG, my Cricut maker, and a design. You ready? Let's make it. Let's head over to Cricut Design Space to create our card. I'm here on the canvas. I'm ready to create my card base and my liner. I'm going to go over to the left hand side, click on shapes. From here, I'm going to grab a square. I want to change the color of my square, so I'm going to go up to operations to the color square, click on that, change it to white. Now I want to change the dimensions of my shape. I want my card to be five by seven, so I'm going to change the width to 10 and the height to seven. I'm going to go up here to the top to size. I'm going to click on the lock to unlock it and change the dimensions. Now I'm going to click enter. I'm going to put my lock back on. Now I'm headed back over to the left hand side to shapes again. This time I'm going to grab a score line, which is the first one here at the top. Click on that. I want to change my score line to be seven inches in height. So I'm going to head back over to size, change it to seven and click enter. If you look over here in the layers panel, you see that the line is already selected. Now what I want to do is hold down my shift key, select my shape. I have both of them selected. Now I'm going to go up to the top again. This time I'm going to go to align, click on the drop down menu. Click on center to align center. I still have both pieces selected. I'm going to go back over to the layers panel on the right hand side. Click on the double square with the plus sign to duplicate it. This duplicated copy is going to serve as my liner. I want my liner to be an eighth of an inch smaller than the card base. So I'm going to change the dimensions. Before I change the dimensions, I want to attach the score line to the shape. So I'm going to go down here to the bottom right, since they're both already selected, I'm going to click on attach. Now that the pieces are attached, I'm going to go back up to size, click on the lock again, unlock it. I'm going to change the width to 9.875. And I'm going to change the height to 6.875. I'm going to put the lock back on. Now I'm going to move the liner to the side for the time being and go back to the card base. What I want to do with the card base is I want to put a little cutout of a wreath, something really simple. So I'm going to head over to the left hand side again. This time I'm going to click on images and I'm going to search for a green Christmas wreath. Something like this, but I want it to be solid green. So I'm going to keep on scrolling until I find what I'm looking for. I'm going to go ahead and grab this one. Click on it, go to the bottom right, click on add to canvas. Since I only want one solid color, what I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to go down to the bottom right, click on combine, click the drop down arrow, and I'm going to weld the two pieces together. This is about what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to bring it over to my card base, size it the way I want it. I think the little cutout that I already made from my foil cardstock, I think it's 
four and a half. So I want to make sure this is smaller than four and a half. I think this is a pretty good size. Now I'm going to eyeball it to get it just where I want it to be. Then I'll be ready to slice it out. That looks good to me. Now what I want to do is grab the card base. I'm going to hold down my shift key, select the card base. I have both of them selected. Now I'm going to go to the right hand side to the bottom and click on slice. Now that the shape is sliced out, I no longer need it. I'm going to click on this and hit the delete key. There's the second one, this white one. I'm going to click on that and hit the delete key. If you notice, my score line moved to the back. So I'm going to select the card base. I'm going to go up to the top, click on the drop down menu here on the range, and I'm going to send this to the back, which is going to bring my score line to the front. Now that I have my score line to the front, I'm going to hold down my shift key, grab the score line. I have both layers selected. Now I'm going to go to the bottom center, click attach. My car base is done and my liner is done. I want to take it just a step further and add a little text. So I'm going to go over to the left hand side, click on text. I'm going to go up to the top here to fonts, click on the drop down box, and I'm going to search for a font. I want a font that's a script font and a font that's also a writing font. So I'm going to go over here to these two little lines, click on that. This has all the filters. I'm going to filter kerned and writing. Right away, I see a font that I am wanting to use, which is this here, Alyssa Stencil Script. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to go back down to my text box. I'm going to double click on it. Now that it's highlighted blue, I can go ahead and start typing in the words I want to use. That looks pretty good. I want to go up to the top to operations now, change the pen color to red since I'm going to be using a red pen. This way I'll get an idea of what it's going to look like. Also, the pen that I'm using is an extra fine point pen, so I'm just going to click on that as well. Now I want to go back to the text. This time I want to reduce the size of it so that it fits just where I want it on the card base. That looks good to me. Now I want to grab both pieces and attach them. My card base is all finished. What I want to do now is I'm just going to grab a shape. I'm going to grab another square. I'm going to make it about four and a half like my foil cardstock is. I'm going to change the color to green. I'm going to go to arrange, send to back, move it over here. I just want to take a look at it to see how it's going to look. Great, that's looking good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete that. Now I want to work on my card liner. I'm going to add the text to my liner. I'm going to click on the text box again. It's already highlighted in blue. Now I'm ready to type in my text. I'm going to go back up to operations like I did before, change the pen color to red, change the size again to extra fine. Now I'm going to 
reduce the size of this make some adjustments so that it fits just where I want it in the box I like it just like this now I'm going to grab both layers go to the bottom right center click on attach now my card is all ready I'm going to go up to the top click on make I'm going to click continue well before I click continue I'm going to move it just a tad now I'm going to click continue I'm going to use medium cardstock, 80 pounds. Now I'm ready to head back over to the craft table. I'm going to load the pen and the scoring wheel as well as the cardstock onto the mat. I'm going to load this pen into clamp A. What I like to do is I like to put the pen in there and then lift it up a little bit till I hear the click then close it. I'm going to put the scoring wheel here into clamp B. Add my card stock to the mat. Braid it down really good. I put my paper in the wrong way. I used the wrong orientation, so now I have to take it out. And start over. It was oriented horizontally, not vertically. I didn't even pay attention to that. Okay, I have it oriented the correct way this time. Now I need to change the scoring stylus back to the fine point blade. I want to check it, make sure it's not dirty. It looks good. Looks like it cut out beautifully. I'm going to go ahead and unload the mat. Yeah, I'm going to use the back side of this. I need to put the scoring wheel back in here and to clamp B. Now I'm ready to load the mat. It's all finished. Now, oh no, it's not finished yet. I still need to cut it. Let me take this and change it out. Now it's finished. Looks good. Let me unload it. Okay, that looks pretty good. I'm going to clean this up. Then I'll be back to assemble the card. I'm ready to assemble the card. I'm going to take this card base, fold it at the score line. Grab my bone folder, and crease it down really well. I'm going to take the piece of foil. I'm going to add some tape to all four corners, then add it to the back of the card base. Too much tape.
well we're just gonna roll with it I'm going to try to remove some of that tape I'm going to just sit this piece in here to try to get the center piece centered well that in there like that. It looks pretty cute. Now let's make a bow. I'm not great at making bows. I'm just going to make a simple bow. That's cute, that'll work. I think this is a great spot for the bow. I'm gonna add a little more tape. Cute little simple card. Now I need to get some of this glue off of here. I'll do that off camera and I'll come back and show you the final project. I got most of it off. I wasn't able to get all of it off, but it looks good enough. In my haste, I forgot about the liner, so we need to put the liner in. I'm going to fold the liner at the score line. Do the same thing I did before. Take my bone folder. Press it down. Now I'm going to add some adhesive. Stick this in the center, line it up about an eighth of an inch. Trying to make sure it's centered on both sides. Add some more adhesive to this side. Voila! Here we have it, a nice simple holiday card. Here's a closer look at the final project. I hope you are able to make one as well and I hope you got something out of this video despite the hiccups. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep creating.